If you've bought a home before or you've been thinking about it, you've probably heard of this thing called a homestead exemption. Today, we're gonna to talk about what it is and how you can take advantage of it. What's up everybody, it's Nick here with The Bridge Group. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. Let's talk about this homestead exemption. So the first thing is, who qualifies? Well, here in Texas, all homeowners qualify for the homestead exemption on their primary residence. Primary residence meaning the house that you live in. So if you own three or four properties, one of them you live in and three of them you rent out, you can only claim the homestead exemption on your primary residence, that one that you live in. The other three you cannot claim this exemption on. So now that you know that you qualify for this homestead exemption on your primary residence, what does it actually do for you? Well, the simplest way to explain it is every single year when you pay your property taxes, Part of it is based on the value of your home. So let's say for instance, your home is worth $100,000. The homestead exemption essentially discounts the value of your home by about 18% to the rough estimate. So for example, when you pay your property taxes, you would be paying taxes as if your house was only worth $82,000. Now, obviously this is a very rough estimate, so it's not something that I would swear by, but that 18% rule at least gives you a very basic idea of what to expect. This number can change based upon the school district that you're zoned for, the city that you live in, or the county that your property is located in. All right, so now you know how you qualify and you know actually what it does, but how do you actually apply for this homestead exemption and what's the deadline? If you've already purchased a property in 2019 or you plan to before the end of the year, you get to claim the homestead exemption for that property in 2020, the deadline for which is January 1st, to April 30th of 2020 to apply for your homestead exemption. You only need to apply one time and as long as you are still living in that property and you don't leave for more than two years, that property continues to apply as long as you live there. So you only have to do it once. Now, as you can probably see from what I'm saying, if you don't purchase a property in 2019 before the end of the year, you do not get to claim the homestead exemption next year. So if you've been on the fence and you've been considering whether you want to purchase a property before the end of the year, you only have about three weeks left in order to have enough time to close on that property before the end of the year and be able to take advantage of the homestead exemption. If you don't purchase that property before December 31st, you will actually have to wait to claim that exemption until 2021 because you will have missed the deadline for purchasing that property to qualify. I'm sure that you all know the funny saying, there's only two things in life that are for sure, death and taxes. The homestead exemption is a great way to make those taxes a little less painful to deal with. So make sure that you purchase a property before the end of the year in order to take advantage of it for 2020. If you need help with that, that's what I'm here for. The home buying process can be stressful, it can be overwhelming, there's a lot to think about, a lot to consider. Let me take some of that stress off of you and help you find the perfect property for you and your family. So, shoot me an email, send me a text message, I would love to help you guys find your next home before the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. We put out new content every single week, so stay tuned for our next episode. We'll see you then.